Good evening, everyone. When we think of philanthropy, our minds immediately go to financial, an online gift, a check, a transfer of stock, a gift of land, the decision to include our university in an estate plan. All of those do represent philanthropy, and we're grateful for each and every one of them. When this award was created, it left room for other ways that people and families can make an impact. Exceptional generosity, diverse causes, inspiration to others, and it's that last phase, inspiration to others, where this family's story begins. It is my pleasure to announce that this year's Philanthropic Family of the Year is the Orv and Trudy Schmieding family. It's great to have Trudy with us, along with her son Greg and his wife Janet, their daughter Jackie and her husband Jared, and their son-in-law Israel. Trudy's two daughters, Becky Schmieding and Teresa Shemansky, Teresa's husband Steve and their daughter Kaylin are also with us. And two of Trudy's dear friends, Darlene Plumhart and Jean Plum, have also joined us tonight. Orv did not have the benefit of many years. He passed away at age 59. However, through his leadership in counseling, he prepared many that entered that important profession. Trudy, a nurse, accepted a part-time role as coordinator of human sexuality resources at SDSU. She provided information on all aspects of human sexuality, working with students to deal with social, psychological, medical, emotional, and physical aspects of development. She started that in 1972. She was a trailblazer and served this university and its students for nearly two decades. The late 60s and early 70s were a tumultuous time in our nation, some of us remember. We had debates over sexuality and reproductive rights. It was an unsettling time with the war in Vietnam and the fight for racial justice. Now think of the fields of expertise of Orv and Trudy. Counseling, human sexuality. On a campus of 5,000 or so, people between the ages of 18 and 22 during that time. Trudy had an open door. She was non-judgmental. A colleague said Trudy was calm, cool, and composed in dealing with these serious and personal issues. He said she could build trust with patients. Orv and Trudy met people at challenging moments in their lives. They helped motivate and inspire people and ultimately made them grateful for how this university cared for them and allowed them to grow. The Schmieding family provided a lead gift of $100,000 to name space in a new well-being center to honor Orv. Friends, colleagues, and former students also made gifts to honor his legacy. Orv and Trudy raised their children well, and the interests and passions of Greg, Becky, and Teresa align with those of their parents. All three attended and earned degrees from South Dakota State. Becky was a letter winner in four varsity sports, and she is a fixture courtside at our basketball games. Like his dad, Greg got into sports officiating and served as a football replay official for the Big Ten Conference for nine seasons, while also serving in a leadership role of a global company overseeing a $1 billion a year division. Teresa followed her in her dad's footsteps in counseling She's been honored as an elementary school counselor of the year, and perhaps the ultimate compliment, the counselor's counselor. The commitment to serve others was instilled in them. Last month, Becky was recognized by the Helpline Center for distributing meals to a group of elderly women. Greg delivers Meals on Wheels and serves on the board of Feeding South Dakota. Teresa has been fundraising for humanitarian aid for the people of the Ukraine. Then there is this family's generosity toward South Dakota State. For 
36 consecutive years, one or more members of the Schmieding family have donated to the SDSU Foundation every year for 36 years. Combined, the family has made gifts and commitments of nearly $1.8 million. Greg and his wife, Janet, are members of the campaign cabinet for Bold and Blue. Thank you. Becky has taught at least one class every semester in the Lohr College of Engineering since 2013 after retiring from her position as an executive project manager at IBM and returning to Brookings. She has co-led a workshop to encourage girls to pursue careers in the STEM fields. The family scholarship offerings touch athletics and four academic colleges, agriculture, food, and environmental sciences, education and human sciences, nursing, and engineering. Exceptional generosity, nearly $1.8 million. Diverse causes, scholarships in five distinct areas. Inspiration to others, the lives that they've impacted. I want to close with an excerpt from a note that one of our graduates sent to Trudy in 1982, shortly after learning of Orr's passing. They said, Sometimes you wonder if our lives make a difference, this graduate wrote. I want you to know that Orv's life made a difference for me and that his values will live on in my life. And hopefully the chain will continue through my impact on others. This part of the Schmieding family legacy is at SDSU. Please join me in thanking and congratulating the Orv and Trudy Schmieding family as our philanthropic family of the year.